what's up y'all this is Shakur um I'm just on here real quick to give y'all some details about what went on with the baddies olympics so let's just rewind a little bit I ain't gonna make this a long video it's not no edits or nothing in it I'm just gonna get straight to it um so I downloaded the now that tv app and I watched the first season of Baddie's um, collection. And I saw how she gave the girls the 10K or whatever. Um, I didn't really watch the first season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. But, like, I seen little snippets and stuff. And the whole time, everybody, like, she the one that was, like, damn, dumb on homicide. And I'm, like, oh, okay. Because that was going, like, viral on Facebook, Instagram, and all that. So, I'm, like, okay, whatever. But I still never really watched the season. But I see that she left Jocelyn Cabaret and made her own show. So, I'm, like, this is cool. So I'm watching it, watching it, and then she comes up with this saying, like, it's the Olympics, and um, you also can get picked to be on her her season two. You can win 5K, and also it's a good networking opportunity. And she was like, whatever you have, whether it's clothes, whether it's um, lip gloss, hats, whatever the fuck you have to represent you, bring it, because it's a good networking opportunity. And we're saying there's going to be a lot of people there, and this and, that's, this and that, and if you're not participating... Um, get the VIP ticket and, and everybody that you know coming. Um, have your family and friends subscribe to the Now That TV, pay the subscription, and also have them, um, have, if they can come, come show you support, like coming and paying so they can see the event. So I watched her live and she describing how the Olympics is going to be. She's like, I'm not giving y'all too much details. I want y'all to be surprised. Like, she's saying some real ass shit as far as see who really supports you. And if you got one or two people that's, that um, support you, if they download the app and then once it's time to vote, have them vote for you, this and that. So I'm like, I'm looking at it like, yeah, this is big. You know, like, I think it's a good chance. So I, I send my little cast video in. I get an email, get pre-selected. It say bring tennis shoes leggings uh heels and lingerie so this is tuesday night that i get the email finally i'm like you know dang i didn't get an email yet and it said 100 girls would be competing you know for the for the 5k so i'm like this like i ain't i'm not no sore loser or nothing so i'm like listen i'm just a real ass bitch so i'm like so even if i don't win the 5k being able to meet her, being able to see who else is there and network and get my shorts out there. Because, you know, I got my own clothing line called Nice and Soft. I'm going to look it up. It's Nice and Soft underscore. Um, so, I brought, I had a pair for her. I brought it up, you know, for her. And also had a couple to sell to the girls. I want them to see it and stuff. And she was just like, everybody going to be on camera. You're going to have a chance to, um, you know, uh, put your cell phone. And, you know, you're going to be on TV and all the shit. So, anyways... Um, it was kind of like, I got my email Tuesday, so it was kind of short notice, because I didn't even know for sure if I was going or not, but when I got the email, I'm like, I gotta make this happen. Mind you, I come from Sacramento, California, all the way to Atlanta. <laughs> Them tickets is sky motherfucking high, six eighty nine for a round trip to get there and back. Hella high. So, I made it do what it do. I packed my bags. I go, and I'm like, it's going to be a good opportunity. She like, even if one or two people vote for you, um, I'm going to see that you got somebody I got home that fuck with you, and this, that, that, and this, so, um, she was like, so you could be picked, and she was like, even if you don't get the five, she like, even if you don't win the 5k, um, you still got a chance to be on my show, like, even if I don't pick you Four to five K, you can still be picked on the show. And she was like, I don't know how many girls I'm gonna choose. She was like, This is an opportunity. She said, I don't know when the next time I'm casting. She was like, But this is your chance, so you better come. And mind you, I've never been to ATL before, so I'm like, this is gonna be a bomb ass experience. Like in my head, I'm picturing like a big ass building. I'm picturing like some real Olympic shit. It's called an Olympics, bitch. Did you not read what the fuck Olympics stand for? You feel me? So I'm really thinking it's a real Olympic. So of course I could tell my sisters, my mama, my stepdad, my cousins, and everybody that fuck with me, friends, all the shit to subscribe because I want y'all to see me on this motherfucker league. Period. So of course I got people that really, really fuck with me that was like, yep, I'm subscribing, yep, I'm watching it. People, mind you, people don't even know 
about this app or nothing nigga i'm telling people like subscribe nigga you know support me when it's time to vote vote because she was like yeah have people vote for you when it's the time to do it <clears throat> okay whatever now let's fast forward to the actual event get there she said oh then she said come as your best she said if you a bad bitch you better show up like you a bad bitch ain't no time to live you better show up blah, blah, blah. i'm like period so i get my hair done i get my nails done had a bomb ass outfit that I came that I came to the event with. So it says be there at 10 30 in the morning. I get there right on time. Like 10, maybe 10 minutes late, like 10 40, whatever. See the line. We in line. Then on the email it did say you possibly might be there till about eleven o'clock at night. So on my head, I'm like, well damn, if we're gonna be there from the morning tonight, I hope they got some food and shit for us, you feel me? So, I get in the line, we waiting. This is going to be for registration. The security guard already had a rule. Y'all need to get in the, in the line. Da, 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 da. And they were just being like hell disrespectful. It wasn't like all the stuff they were saying. It was just how they saying it. Like they just was like like treating us like we just some boosty ass bitches. When we come in looking dressed as fuck with heels on, makeup done. Now, let me rewind all the girls didn't have makeup and shit done bitches coming with braids bitches ain't got no makeup on bitches coming with slides with motherfucking tennis shoes like ain't nothing wrong with wearing no tennis shoes or no slides but she said come your best and it says on the on the email that you're gonna that be camera ready as soon as you pull up like as soon as you pull up you're gonna be on camera so make sure you look your best so, I made sure that's what I did. But when I'm looking at some of the girls, I'm like, damn, they must have not got the memo. But I'm like, shit, they not me. So, that's none of my business. So, I didn't care. Paid $150 for my makeup to get done. Did, did done to get done, I'm sorry. Just for this shit. So, we waiting, we waiting. Some people didn't get no COVID test. So, they, so some people had some COVID tests in line was charging to get them. How do you get it or whatever. And, like, if you ain't got no COVID test, you're not getting in. If you have me a COVID test, you getting sent home. Um, if you come up here, and if you ain't looking like you ready to look when you walk into the building, you going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have slides, too. So, I take my heels off. I put my slides on. Like, nigga, we in this line. We was there since 1030 in the morning. Finally, we start making some progression about 1 o'clock. Finally get through registration. They give us the little non-disclosure, whatever. So we signed that. It basically was saying like we can't sue, whatever, whatever. Um, you know she can use our content however the fuck she want to or whatever. Or now after we can. So I signed it. Then we get our name tag. Then we get back in line to get inside. So to get back inside, they were letting people in twenty at a time. Mind you, it was hella hot outside, so everybody like, damn, y'all got some water? they like, no. And then, mind you, they checking people's bags, and they like, you can't have no, you can't take water or food in there. So, they throwing people water and food away, but they don't have no water for us. I'm like, that's hella crazy. I'm like, damn, I'm like, it's hella hot. So, we sit down in the shade, we waiting, we waiting, we waiting, we waiting. We get close to the door. It's finally our turn. We finally get inside. They, now, mind you, they said, before you get to the door, you better be ready because once you get inside, like, basically, it's on and popping, like, everything getting recorded. Oh, shit, that's what we're thinking, like, the way they're making it seem like it's like, okay, when we get inside, it's, like, on and popping because we I didn't even see the inside yet. we just been waiting to get inside. So, we're thinking we finna <clears throat> have a seat. Mind you, I'm thinking that she's actually in there this whole time while we're getting ready to go inside. I'm thinking that she's already up in there and all the shit. So, we get inside, and we're still waiting in fucking line. All the security guards, is dykes. It's like two niggas, like two real niggas, but then the other bitches was dykes. One bitch had a shaved head. The other motherfuckers was dykes with little dreads and shit, thinking that they niggas. They feeling like they the shit. They just being whatever. So, we, in the, we inside now. They like, um, y'all can use the bathroom. But when you go into the bathroom, you cannot change your clothes. You can't smoke in the bathroom. You can't use your phone in here. If you get caught using your phone, you getting kicked off. Da 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 da. All this shit. Um. Just be ready. Whatever, whatever. 
So we hear people, we hear them in there saying next, next, next. And we like, what are they doing? And then we hear people making noise. So when we finally get a little glimpse, they was on the stage twerking. So I'm like, okay. But mind you, I'm not thinking that you getting sent home for that. I'm just thinking that they like getting you off of the stage or something like that. Or like it's just some entertainment before the shit really starts. Now, I'm thinking that this is no challenge because, mind you, it already says pre-selected. So, if you already sent in an audition tape and if you already got a pre-selection email, when you actually come into this, it's not like you should be you should be auditioning again or it should be no type of elimination. Auditioning again, another audition and an elimination was not a part of what the fuck we thought we were signing up for. So, we in line, we look at people like going up or whatever. And we see the people twerking. I'm like, fuck, I got heels on. I'm like, I got my shorts in my bag. I can throw them on. I'm like, but she's saying, I'm thinking in my head about what the fuck Lex said. I'm like, she said to come as your best. So then when I'm finally looking and I can see the stage, bitches is taking off their shirts. Bitches is showing their ass. Bitches taking their thongs off. Bitches really lifting up their skirts. They doing all that. And I'm like, I got a dress on. I'm not finna fucking do all that. Like, I'm a, I can, I'm like, so I try to practice. I'm like, okay, I could move with my dress on. I'm like, but I'm not doing all that. And then mind you, my dress had like a slit on there. So I'm like, I'm gonna do something, but I'm not like doing all that. Cause I'm like, I don't even have no panties on. Mind you, I got family back at home watching and subscribing to this shit. So like, this ain't the actual show. This is supposed to be an Olympics. So why the fuck am I gonna have my family subscribe to end up seeing my pussy or my fucking titties? online like i'm not doing that or you feel me or like on fucking you know on the network so boom it's finally our turn one girl go before me da, 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 it's my turn so i get up on stage then as soon as i get off the stage another girl go on stage and they like and we both coming down together i'm like i'm walking out and she coming off too and she like and they like no yes and i'm like confused and they like no yes and they like she can stay you gotta go I'm like, nah, go. They was like, yeah. So I guess if you got picked, you got a blue ticket. But if you didn't, they was like, you got to exit the building. If you didn't get picked, you got to exit the building. Go. Bye. I'm like, hold the fuck on. I'm like, that's crazy. Because we see people, bitches scrambling. They coming off the stage with their titties out. Bitches got thongs and shit on. So I'm like, damn. So I'm thinking that these bitches just want to do that. But I didn't know that basically if you want to go to the next step, you better show some titties and some pussy or your ass. Like, they want to see some ass cheeks. Mind you, I've been a stripper for six years, I want to say. A dancer. I done danced on and off for like six years. So I'm like, I can dance my ass off. But that's not what the fuck I signed up for. I'm supposed to be here being a bad bitch, quote unquote. So I'm not being ratchet. I'm thinking it's really supposed to be on some classy, top notch shit. So I'm like, like, nope. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna do a little something like cute on some boss shit, but I'm not doing all that. You feel me? Obviously, that ain't get me nowhere. So, and uh, mind you, I had tennis shoes in my bag. I had shorts and tennis shoes, but I'm like, I'm not wearing that yet because I'm not even thinking that these are the real challenges. I'm thinking that this is just really some bullshit. So I'm like, that's crazy. And they like, no, like, if you didn't get picked for that, like, you're out. I'm out. Go outside. Everybody coming out hella mad. Everybody mad. Like, nigga, just hella people getting sent out telling, saying that you got to fucking go. And we all outside waiting or whatever. And they like, you got to get off the premises. And they just being hella disrespectful. Like, if you didn't get picked, you got to go. Da, 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 da. Oh, yelling and shit. And I'm like, wow. And I'm like. I would have took that better if Lex told me that. If, if Lex can look me in my motherfucking eye, even though her opinion don't really matter to me, but like if it's her shit. So if she tell me you not no bad bitch or you can't be picked on my show or you not finna be a participating in my Olympics, I would have been cool with that. But you got this fat ass nigga taking over the whole motherfucking show and got these security guards that's thinking that they niggas being hella disrespectful like nigga we made this whole ass day in the olympics y'all would be bored with no motherfucking job and wouldn't be doing shit if we wasn't here if we didn't give y'all no job to do so why y'all treating us like we not nothing like why and then for her to say oh the first season was bad but i got a new better production team and all this shit but for us to come there and be treated like that especially people coming from out of state that was just hella boosty you feel me <laughs> so I'm like, so me and this girl, so this girl's 
cousin or sister, my bad, her sister got picked. So she was able to go to the next round. People outside like, oh, they got to do a ditto challenge. And they got to suck on some dildos. They got to do this and do that. And I'm listening. But I didn't see that. So I'm like, I don't know. But I'm just listening to what they're saying. And so my phone's finna die. So um, she like, my sister's still in there. She's like, she ain't advancing the next round. She was like, I'm waiting on her. She was like, and I also bought the VIP ticket. She was like, so... I'm finna go inside. I'm going to the concert because mind you, it was like four o'clock. We've been outside since ten o'clock. Everything get done about one thirty-two, and then we barely get inside. Do that dumbass twerking challenge at like three o'clock, and they just letting you go hella fast. Like nope, yep, yep, nope. So I'm like, so we in her car. We charging the phone, and she got her phone playing, watching the fucking Olympics because the shit was live now. My everybody calling me like. Where you at? What's up? I don't see you on TV yet. Like, da -da -da, what's going on? Because first it was just pause. Like, they wasn't even showing nothing. But then they start showing, I guess, us outside waiting on, in the line and shit. <clears throat> so I told my brother, I'm like, look, I got to go. When he was calling me and asking me, and I was like, this is how you do it. So everybody trying to subscribe because they like, it says it's going to be live in 15 minutes, da -da 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 -da, and everything. So, um, so she subscribed, the girl subscribed to the olympics so we so she watching it inside the car and we see it in the inside that they're doing simon says now so they they passed the twerk challenge now it's simon says and it wasn't simon says it's whatever the man name was and i forgot his name i'm just gonna call him fat ass nigga so the fat ass nigga had them call, say his or if he said his name and said he wooty woo said you gotta do this so we in there watching it so bitches was doing it right they was listening they was like when he said his name and said to do it they did it when he didn't say their name was asking them questions they was quiet and then some bitches like slipped up because he was like so where are you from so why are you here so what you gonna do with the 5k asking them questions and they like answering it because it's like confusing but then they like whatever so you see more girls just coming out so i'm like whoa this is what the fuck we doing so the, this girl I knew, she come up and I'm like, what happened to you? I'm like, how you get let go? And she was like, girl, he said, put your hand on her right shoulder and I put it on the left and, and they let me go and I got eliminated. I said, are you fucking serious? Then two more girls came out and they get let go. And I'm like, what happened with y'all? They was like, girl playing Simon Says, this, that, that, and this. And I'm like, that's crazy. And they was like, um... They was like, but this is what you do. They was like, even though we got eliminated from this, we can still go back in there. They was like, Lex don't want to hear no crying and no woo to woo, woo about that. They was like, be a boss bitch and pay that $100 to get in and still never can do that. And I'm like, that would be cool or whatever. But nigga, I just spent hella money to get out here. And I done spent hella money on my makeup and all this. And I was, I, obviously, as a participant, the Olympics didn't even start. So why the fuck will we get eliminated and kicked out the building? Just to pay a hundred dollars to be VIP with her, and we see what the building looked like. Wasn't no motherfucking VIP. That was just what the fuck was charged to get in, just in general. That was the admission. So I'm like, I'm not paying that. But the one girl did. One girl paid a hundred to get back in. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm about to leave. I'm like, that shit's hella boosty. I'm like, and where the fuck is she at? I say, cause I swear to God, I'm like, I'm waiting for her to pull the fuck up. Cause I want to ask her herself, like, this how you want to run this shit? You got these security guards and these dykes and all these motherfuckers just having control of this whole event that's supposed to be yours. I'm thinking that this whole time you're inside and everything. Cause everybody thought this girl that had the orange on was a judge and they thought that that was Lex, but it wasn't. So they like, who was that? They was like, is that her? I'm like, no, I don't think that that's her but i'm like why is she not here so some people thinking that she in the back watching and she's telling them i like, yes and no and shit like that the whole time look on instagram this bitch at her airbnb getting her makeup done sitting back chilling then somebody tag her and was like oh the audition the pre-audition start at three the olympics start at five the concert start at eight and the final round is after the concert and she posts that and i'm like and i'm looking at the time and it's like five something six and i'm like this bitch ain't finna show up to the concert start. Oh, yeah. Mind you, while everybody waiting in the inside, they like, y'all don't have no water? They like, no. Now, they did have a couple. They had like seven, but they was like, y'all got a waterfall. They only had a couple. They did The thing. The reason why I'm saying they have no water, because they should have had waters for all the fucking girls. If y'all know how many emails y'all sent out, how many people was pre-registered, the courtesy, at least y'all could have did, because y'all the whole ass network, y'all could have at least made, accommodated us and made sure that we had water, food, and all that shit, because we supposed to be here all fucking day. We supposed to do this Olympics running and shit, tired or doing whatever the fuck, and 
It ain't got no food or no water, no fucking energy. Because even if we did eat breakfast, we're there all day. Why you ain't got no snacks? You ain't got no chips. You ain't got no crackers. You ain't got no sandwiches. You ain't got shit. So I'm like, that's yellow boozy. So I'm like, damn. And then the first thing y'all have people do from waiting three hours outside is fucking go twerk. Bruh. So. I'm still up there waiting for my cousin to get me. Then I see another challenge happen. They start doing the fucking cypher. Now bitches is up there talking about each other. He's like, yeah, um, we're doing a cypher. Y'all both, y'all got to talk about each other. Did, 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 let's go. Basically, I think he, I don't know for sure, but basically all of them wasn't rapping. They wasn't even rapping. They were just talking shit. They looking at the, they looking at each other and they just start getting on each other. I'm looking, I'm like, oh yeah, that wouldn't have been what's up for me because I'm not the type of bitch that's going to sit here and let no motherfuckers talk about me and just stand there for one and then number two i don't like talking about people i'm confident with myself so i'm not finna waste my time looking at you and trying to find a flaw with you because i already know how i feel about people talking about me so i'm not finna sit there and let no motherfucker just speak on me and then try to turn around and speak on them like that's just not what i do i watch wilding out they can handle that shit cool all the other shows all them other cyphers where people talk shit that's just not something that i can do some people can't some people don't give a fuck some people can chalk it up some people can talk take criticism or or take you know the shit people say I'm just not that bitch. So I'm like, that wouldn't have been for me anyway because it wasn't going to end well. So I'm like, I'm damn near glad that I'm not in there for this bullshit because I'm like, this ain't no Olympics. This is some bullshit. So then, of course, a fight happens because they on each other's face. They in the mic. Duh, 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 duh. Then you just see them start swinging and they were like, oh yeah, it's them both up out of here. You're not going to be up here fighting. How do you expect females to talk about each other and you're saying, oh, it's just a game? It's just a game. But y'all, but y'all literally, it's a game, but you're having people talk shit about literally the next person talking about their breasting, talking about what they wearing, talking about their hair, talking about where they from, talking about they fat, talking about they skinny, talking about they shoes, like, what? So bitches is doing it, but then one girl get on there and was like, listen, we awesome boss bitches, there's some pretty bitches in here, and I'm not here to degrade nobody, this and that, and then the dude took the mic and was like, that's all fine and Danny, but this is a game, it's a challenge, and if you want that 5k, you better do what the, you better do what it takes to win it then it goes from that challenge to a pussy check challenge so this is so fucking uh huckleberry is smelling bitches pussy sound i want to see if your pussy smell good or not pussy check oh we want to see if your feet look good take them shoes off we should we showing your feet then they start doing the motherfucking catwalk i must have lost lose i said bruh that should have been the first thing that got done when the fucking olympics started if y'all doing catwalks and doing different shit, that should have been a first introduction. Why the fuck do we have to come into a building after waiting three hours and the first thing we gotta do is start twerking ass with no water, no food, no nothing. And then y'all do all this shit, then turn around and start doing a fucking catwalk when that should have been the first thing because everybody's supposed to come dressed up. Now, it's a lot of girls there, understood. But there was a lot of bitches that was out of, out of dress code. So why the fuck y'all didn't just send them bitches home See the bitch that didn't have makeup on. Send them home. Because it says, you will be asked to leave if you do not come to production looking right. This one girl had braids, French braids that looked raggedy as fuck. And then had, didn't have no outfit on. No, like, like no dressed up outfit. And then she still got passed. So it's like, y'all talking about all the girls or how many girls it was. But y'all... Y'all had a chance and opportunity to really send a lot of girls home. Y'all like, oh, if y'all wearing leggings or if you're wearing um something something you gotta go so i'm just like but then y'all letting other people so y'all just was confusing as fuck like y'all was picking and choosing the bitches that y'all wanted there or not and then it still was too many so then y'all just start making just all kind of rules just start changing up everything so boom so i'm still like i said when i'm watching the walk the runway i'm sitting in the car and i'm like wow i'm like this really what they doing or whatever and i'm still trying to see where this bitch lex at i'm like is she showing up or whatever anything like that whatever i'm like yep she's gonna be here when the concert starts so the concert starts at eight of course that's when the fuck she pulls up of course i'm going by now but i'm hella mad because it was not only me bitch people came from virginia people came from colorado from california from chicago just all over we didn't meet that girl. She didn't participate in the actual Olympics. She came for the fucking concert. <laughs> she said 
she was going to take us all out and she was going to get 50 bottles of bottle service and all the girls was invited, especially all the girls that participated in all the shit. <laughs> and of course she didn't do that. So I'm like, this was really a waste of fucking time. I left Sacramento. People left their families. People had bills. People thought this was a real opportunity and it turned out to be a fucking scam. You making people subscribe $20 for a fucking Olympics that never happened. And it, the shit was just overall just like lame as fuck for it to turn around and be free today. And it was on YouTube. She was like, yeah, put it in your bio. Put this, if you were smart, you'll put that link in your bio. She did it just like that. Put that link in your bio. <laughs> She made this shit sound so motherfucking good. And then, um, yeah, so it's getting later. The performance started. Suki performed. Agent Doll performed. All the shit, right? She said, we're competing for 5K. And at the winner, we're going to get the 5K. And then you get a chance to be on her show. Or she's going to announce. She's like, I might pick one, two, three girls. They don't know telling. Da, da, da. Everybody performed the concert over. She said, okay, y'all, we finna wrap it up. Thank y'all for coming out. Da, 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 da. And it was just over. Then the shit just ended. I said, and I think I said, okay, you did come to the Olympics. It was no real Olympics or none of that shit. The least she gonna do is throw. She said, and then she said it on her Instagram. I can't wait to get this 5K to the best girl tomorrow. I can't wait to hand this to the girl tomorrow. The winner and all the bullshit. Everybody like tagging her. Oh, I'm coming for my 5K prize. This, that, that, and this, and everything like that. To turn around, the bitch didn't pick a winner, and the bitch did not give out that 5K. That bitch pocketed all that money. Had 3,000 views. It might be was more than that, but by the end of the night, because the shit was fucking eight hours. Out, eight hours. So times 3,000 times 20 60 bands basically off of just a subscription charge all the bitches a hundred dollars so basically you didn't give a fuck about bitches really coming you didn't really give a fuck you was all about your money which is cool but bitch you should have made that clear you don't make people buy tickets you didn't even pay for us to get out there and yeah that was our choice to 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 take the chance to come out there but the way that you made the olympic seem i'm real observant so she was going live like, y'all want to know some information about the Olympics? I'm going to go live and talk about it. So I'm, I'm looking at her vibe like she played the shit off so good because I didn't catch no vibe like it was no fake shit or nothing. Like, I really thought it was going to be legit. You feel me? You didn't have no Olympic shirts. You didn't have no souvenirs. Like, we didn't have no just nothing from coming. Like, we was treated like, like shit. And you was not there to stop nothing. To back nothing up, to change anything, you didn't have no say so. You let them run that motherfucker like they wanted to, and I was just hell out of pocket for you to have us out there from ten in the morning for you to bring your ass at eight o'clock. You didn't even show the girls that to attempted to come. Some girls really wanted to meet you, her. I know she gonna probably see this shit too, but or whatever the fuck. But at the end of the day, the shit was wrong. Out of money, so basically, what you fuck you did was. Make the 10K for the bitch for your next season. Pocketed some money. Paid all the performers off. You not fucking slick. But you should have made that fucking clear. Like, then gonna say. Then somebody tagged her and was like, all the bitches mad that they got eliminated. Bitch, you didn't say it was no fucking eliminations. Even if it was more than 100 girls. Okay, we can understand people leaving because they wasn't dressed apart. That's not getting eliminated. That's just like you can't participate because you didn't follow the rules because the email clearly says to come with makeup on, to come dressed up. Then, the, then they're making us put our head. they like, don't go in there with your slides on. If you got heels, you better put them on to turn around and it be some bullshit and some twerking shit when we came in. So basically, I could have went up there with this on, with some shoes on, right? And I would have been good because uh, I know how to twerk my ass. So, like, you feel me? That wasn't no problem. It was just that I didn't have no panties on. I'm not going to do all that. Like, I got ass. I got all of that. But I was trying to be on some real classy shit. On some real bad bitch, top notch again, boss bitch shit. So, I I was just, like, confused. The, the idea was awesome as fuck. Like, as far as an Olympics. Like, that was a good ass idea. But you... 
did not go about that correctly she did not go about that correctly her security guards sucked they were disrespectful they was fucking rude they didn't give a fuck and it was just overall a fucked up ass situation and event to make the girls turn and they did it though so you probably was like okay if these bitches that desperate to see me and if these bitches that desperate to want to come to the event they're gonna pay that hundred dollars to get inside and that's what the fuck she did. And people writing her talking about, oh my God. Um, thank you for the thank you for the opportunity. thank you for the opportunity. What opportunity did she give you? She didn't give nobody no opportunity. She ain't got on live and said nothing really. All the fuck she said was it wasn't no trial and error. Um, that's what we do. It's a hood party. And that's how, and that, and, and that's what we do. Bitch, you didn't say that was no motherfucking party. If you said it was a party, if you said, look, you can possibly get eliminated. Even if you got eliminated, even if it was basically like, look, you didn't win a 50K, or I'm sorry, you didn't win a 5K, but you, at least you can still sit and watch the event. You feel me? Like, even if you, if it wasn't, even if, okay, yep, you didn't pass the obstacle, you didn't pass that, so you, you out. Let us be out. But why couldn't we stay and watch the event? Oh, because why? The space wasn't big enough? Because you you wasn't prepared? Because y'all just hella uh, organized? and Or y'all just really just don't give a fuck? Some girls got hurt by the security guards. <laughs> like, it was just all alone, all alone just wrong as fuck. Like, it's fucked up. So... That's how that event went. Um, my Instagram is poor little rich girl, so it's P O O R L I L R I C A G U U R L. My Insta my Facebook is Nisha Shakur, and um, my clothing line page is nice and soft underscore N I C E N S O F T underscore. Um, there was one more thing that I was about to say, and I'm about to be done. Mm, what was I about to say? Fucking, uh, oh my God. I was about to say one more thing about that stupid ass event. Um... Oh, people were saying, like, just because you didn't get picked for the Olympics, you can still get picked for her show. Da -da 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 -da. Just based off your audition tape. Listen. Or don't, don't, y'all messing up your opportunity because y'all trying to bash her and y'all doing this and y'all saying that, but she can still pick you. Listen. If she's a real bitch. You would have gone on Instagram and been like, yo, I didn't have no parts of that. I apologize for all that came. I'm going to make it up to y'all. You feel me? A free flight, whatever. How bitches show they receipt, like any fucking thing, like some type of courtesy of that. Because you did that all wrong. Like how the fuck you was not out of the whole event that you was supposed to host and it's your show, correct? So why are you not there to pick or look a girl out? Talking about you was looking, paying attention. Then the bitch got the nerve to get on Instagram talking about the bitch that was pregnant was lit. I don't even know who she's talking about. Cause I didn't even watch that whole ass fucking Olympics. I seen most, some of it. But like the parts that she's talking about or whatever she's talking about. Somebody that was pregnant was lit. Okay, where they 5K at? And now a pregnant bitch got picked. So now if you come in pregnant, now you, if you litty, you, you gonna get picked to be on her fucking show? Or to get the money? Are you fucking serious, my nigga? Scam artist, big fraud, Lex is what the fuck she should be called. Not no big flexer, nigga. You came up with a big ass scam and I just hella boosty like, bruh, I did send an audition tape. I know the type of female I am. I know what I can bring. I ain't never been scary. I'm short. I'm little. You feel me? I'm with the shit. I'm from Cali. And I was, and I was trying to bring some West Coast to the motherfucking show into her fucking Olympics. But... <laughs> That didn't happen. 
And if you look and see, a lot of the bitches was raggedy on that shit. And, I, and everybody like, oh, y'all just mad y'all got eliminated. It's not about that. Why the fuck do we have to leave the event? Well, I thought, we, and then it said on the email to, uh, to, sh to, um, to, to, uh, say it, right share is preferred. But then y'all, if you're not in there no more, if you got eliminated, you're off the premises. People got to find rides. People not from here. People expect to be here all day. Y'all just cutting people. People was crying. I ain't gonna lie. I was hella mad. The security, one of them was sweet. He had a beard. And I don't know his name, but he said he had production for some type of whatever. He was just like, listen, I got a video game. I got this out, whatever he was like. And I got told hell and no before I finally got told, yeah, he was like, this ain't the end of nothing. Don't let this hold you down. And I'm like, yeah, that's understandable. But like that, that shit was fucked up. If I sign up for eliminations and I know I could possibly get eliminated, like not just not win a 5K, but if it's like one thing you out of here, you going home. I would know what I'm signing up for and I would expect that. But people ain't getting on no plane. And it's, and it's not even really a show. It's just one day event to think that they just getting eliminated and sent that quick. And then can't even stay to see the end result and see what happened. I'm just like, I know this bitch ain't finna go out like that. Like, I know she finna get bad. See everybody talking hella shit about her. She gonna at least give out that 5K. She gonna at least do that. She gonna at least, even though they eliminated hella pretty girls in the beginning that was all dressed up and shit. She gonna at least... Pick a girl for her season. She went out sad. She didn't even pick nobody. And I can't even speak on as far as the security guards hitting on females and jumping and all the shit. Because I didn't see that. But I see the video now. But I was not there when that went on. Because it was inside and they had a south side. Which was hella fucked up. And then on top of that. Y'all had to sign a disclosure. So basically we was able to get talked to any type of way. Get put on TV any type of way. And you can't sue. You can't do nothing. And that girl was hurt. That girl body fucked up and all type of shit. From the security guard doing that to her. And for her to say that. That that's how they do. That that's how they party. And then for her to say that she has a bomb ass production team now. A five star production team. Cause people were talking about how on her show. You can really hear the girls voices. And how it was low budget and all the shit. And turn around and fuck up her name again. But I'm like, but she obviously don't give a fuck. And that's hella fucked up. She didn't try to reach. She didn't apologize. She didn't even say, I'm sorry. She didn't even say nothing. She didn't say, you know what? I'm going to go through them casting email. If you really pulled up, if you showed up, I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to consider you. Or there's something else to do, you know? Like, she didn't even do that. She don't give a fuck. That was all for her to have the 10K ready for the next season. And to pay off the performers. And I posted this shit on my Instagram. I told tell the shit. I told my I told everybody unsubscribe to that shit. Don't pay that twenty dollars because it's not worth it. Because all that shit is going to her. Like they wanted our family and shit wanted to see us. You feel me? It was an opportunity. It was TV, a brand new app out app. You feel me? That's cool. Everybody give everybody a chance, and it's like bitch, you blew it with hella people. Like the whole time on that live or on the whole live of the Olympics, they they take they they pausing it, they having the symbol just on there instead of really recording everything. Like it was just really some fraudulent ass bullshit. And you reap what you sow. And karma's a bitch. And I feel like she already knows who she's picking for her season. I feel like that was all for clout. I feel like she just wanted to help people there so it could look like it was hella lit. Then some of my other girls said that she pulled up and rolled down her window, recorded them real quick and lifted the window back up and then just went on right away. Security guards stealing people's phones. Security guards telling people they can't come inside the building if they have weed or alcohol or water. They taking people water out. That was like dead ass clothes. Like like brand new ass new water like not opened already brand new ass water essential water fucking purified water like all the fucking water like them good ass water they taking them out setting them on the table they like oh and if you want to keep your weed you finna throw us 30 to 50 dollars for it if you want to if you because this job don't pay us enough <laughs> so they was all hustling all hella broke all trying to come up off of the girls and that's what it is and they didn't have nothing to offer us and we were standing up the whole fucking time and that's just how the shit went um, that was boosty as fuck. I'm back at home. <laughs> it don't even, I spent too much motherfucking money to get out there. And, <laughs> and that shit's fucked up. And she not even addressing it. She ain't apologizing. She just, 
she just act like everything went like it was supposed to go. You did not say, come participate, come participate in this Olympics. I'll be here at 8 o'clock for the concert. Now, people want to just come out there and go to the concert at 8 o'clock. That's cool. Do you? But the girls that came out here to meet you and to have you look at them and determine if they're going to be qualified for your fucking show or qualified for that 5K, you wasn't even there for that. You wait, you let that whole shit get ran by some other disrespectful, rude ass people. Bitches that want to be niggas and fat ass niggas. And some and niggas too. You had one security guard that was nice enough to be like, that is fucked up. Don't let this be your last opportunity just because you didn't get picked for this. And they're like, oh, if you didn't get picked for the Olympics, you it don't mean you don't get picked for the show. Nobody want to hear that shit, spending money coming all the way to Atlanta. For this bullshit that this bitch went on live for two fucking days acting like it was going to be this lit ass fucking real ass Olympics. Nigga, bring tennis shoes for what? Bring motherfucking um, athletic wear for what? Bring leggings for what? But then people can't wear that there or they can't sit home. But people can go in there without makeup on. Because if y'all was really going by the rules, everybody that was not up to par should have just went in the beginning. Because y'all would have had way less girls in that. So, that shit boosty as fuck. Um, and it's just time, you know, it's time to just make some boss moves. And sometimes, you know, like I said, I thought this, I swear to God, I looked at her. I went to her Instagram. I watched her. So, I'm like, overall, she a cool person. She said she want to see all bitches clean up. She want to see how what you come out looking like, what you wear every day, your personality, um, you know, she's like, ain't no dirty bitches going, ain't no dirty bitch, no bad bitch. Y'all better make sure y'all room is clean. Like, so I was peeping the shit. Like I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I get that show the benefit of the, doubt, uh, of the doubt. People said that the network was low budget and all type of shit. This bitch get her teeth done. And this bitch scam and get some, get some bands and just think she just, this top notch ass bitch. And then she just feel like she can't be touched because she got security. Cause it's like somebody really could hurt that girl but she just feel like she untouchable because she got security because you're not no real just real bitch like you're not you know just being able to talk that shit and really throw them hands you got motherfuckers that's gonna protect you now so it's like you're not even worried about it you're like oh ain't nobody touching me oh i'm this like you know you just think that you just that bitch okay and i said that she wasn't gonna be that long but it just made me hella mad, like, the whole situation. It's like, make it make sense, but if you go to her Instagram, check this out, do this. But now it's going to be over. If you go to her Instagram and, like, the girl that was, like, clicking vote for me and all the shit, I went on some of them girls' pages and I'll see the shit that they posting about the whole situation. It's a lot of multiple girls that, like, got done wrong. And I'm not going to get this situation no more of my time. I let the shit out. I vented. Y'all wanted to see or know what happened at that event. It was trashy. It was unorganized. She was not there until the concert started. But like, she did come. She was there. Yeah, she came at 8 of fucking 8, 30, 9 o'clock when the concert started. Not the Olympics. We was out, up there for the Olympics at 10, 30. If she didn't, if she didn't, if she said, now people chose to come after she said, I'm not going to be at the Olympics. Catch me at the concert. That's on you to be there. And no, she's not going to be the picker to pick you or nothing. But she made it seem like she was going to be there from the jump. Like she was picking girls. Even if you didn't win the 5K, she could still pick you. It was just all a bunch of bullshit. And she's out of pocket for that shit. Period. And there's nothing else really more to say. The bitch out of pocket. That whole fucking network is out of pocket. Y'all foul as fuck. Y'all wrote up some bitch ass pre-congratulation emails. The first email or the first text message that got sent that got sent out, the address was wrong. Then they resent it out with the right address. So it is like, what the fuck? Email, text messages, like <clears throat> it was awesome bullshit. And they came up. And some bitches was dumb enough to say, Oh my god, I didn't get picked, so I'm about to pay this a hundred dollars to get back inside the fucking um event and I'm about to da, 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 da. Yeah, if you live in Atlanta, that's cool. Like but that wasn't worth it at all. And she foul as fuck. But she don't think so. <laughs> so unless like I'm something good gonna happen for me. And I ain't gonna speak too much on nothing. I'ma just let everything flow. But when you 
I'm not going to no more like casting calls. You feel me? Like if if it's not like an audition where you email it and then like once you email it, if they pick you, they just be like congratulations, you're a part of the show. That's different. But as far as doing like doing a pre audition, then going to a casting call, waste of time. Especially for that bullshit. That shit was not worth it at all. So yeah. That is it, y'all. And I'm like, my butt. I so it looked like I'm not looking at the camera, but I got my phone sideways. So I'm not really like looking directly at it. There you go. Cause yeah. But or I'm not looking at the little camera thing. But that's all. I just want y'all to know what happened. It was fucked up and my makeup was so fucking bomb. And I didn't want to take it off. It's still trying to hang on there in, in there a little bit. But yeah.